Hey guys, it's Regant here and in this video I'm going to show you how you can build this amazing XP cactus farm like I've built it in my hardcore world. Have fun! I'll show you the farm how to build it in a smaller dimension for the beginning um, but I will also explain to you how you can expand it to unlimited uh, to every side um, that you can build it as big as I did in my hardcore world. So let's start. Before we start I will mention one thing. Um, you don't have to use iron blocks and glass blocks like I do. I just use them because you can count them very well. If you see, you can count it very well if you are watching one, two, three. Um, you can use any other solid block you want, um, just in case you're wondering why I use iron blocks. The glass blocks I also just use because you can th see through them, but you can also use cobblestone for these ones. So the first step is very important. Um, the first row you build has to be an uneven number. So one, we will build for example 9. Make sure that you got an uneven number. That's very important for the first step. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then you can expand it to the front a little bit. Like this. And then you can put water on this side here. This will be our backside of the farm. Now you see, okay, this is um, the size of our farm for the moment. If you want to build it a little bit larger, you just have to remove um, these blocks here. So the water will keep flowing down uh, here. So yeah, but we will build it with this area right now. After you got this, you can start digging out this row here, like I did, and then you put a hopper right here, leading into the ground, and then a row of hoppers leading into this hopper right there. Okay, then you can close this area right here with a row of blocks. So we got this square right here. Then you can, below this hopper, dig out an area for yourself. And now below this hopper here, put down a chest, a double chest, and then to uh, leave one space open, put furnaces right here, another row of hopper right here, leading from this chest into this furnaces here, and then we need one more, one more row here, and then put down chests right here, a double chest, and again hoppers leading from the furnaces into this chest. So the cactus will go into this chest, it will get collected by these hoppers here, end up in this chest, then go from the chest into the furnaces, it will get uh, burnt here, and then it will end up in this chest here. Then, important, if you want to expand the farm, leave these sides open like they are here. You see, we got left two rows here open if we want to expand the farm into this direction or into this, this direction. So now we will build a glass wall or any other type of wall on this side and this side. So at the start you don't have to build it as high as I did, but I want to show you how you can add another module on top of the first one and so you can build it uh, to the sky. Um, so yeah, that's why because I have built this wall here a little bit higher than you have to do it if you just want one layer of the farm. So then go into one corner and go diagonally to this spot here. So you see you got one here, you can remove this, and then you got one block that is uh, free in the air. Important, the first layer has to be one level above the water, like I have it right here. Then, here will come our cactus on top, like this. Now we have to add uh, some more of these pillars right here. For this, just go around here and build this layout here. And then you can just go ahead and remove the uh, blocks between it, like I do right now. So you will get the single blocks right here. Um, why you had needed uh, the uneven number right here is because otherwise you would have the wall right here and the cactus wouldn't grow here. So very important to have uh, this side here uneven. So I will finish this, this here real quick. By the way, only 0.4% of you are actually subscribed. This is just one out of 250 of you. I would really appreciate if we could get this number to one or even 2% and it would mean the world to me. So if you're not subscribed yet, please give me a chance and also it's free and you can unsubscribe at any time if you don't like my content anymore. 
sorry for this small break and let's continue with this video. So now we got our cactus growing here. To harvest it we need iron bars, you could also use um, wood, wooden fences, but I recommend the iron bars because um, you would see it right here. Uh, there is not much space on top of it and a cactus can't drop on, it's very rarely dropping on top of it and getting stuck here on normal wooden uh, fences this happens more often so now i would wait i would recommend to wait until our cactus is growing a little bit and so we can just put the iron bars here otherwise it would be a very annoying work to build rows of this and remove this and you know what i mean so then we can go ahead and just put the iron bars between the cactus right here then leave one row open and start the next row right here because these two will get affected by this iron bar so we don't just need every second row with iron bars so now it should look like this and our farm our first layer is now working and you see the cactus is already getting collected by our system if you want to add another layer on the top of the first one just go ahead and put two blocks on top of one cactus and then just build the same layout again oh and then just remove every second block again so you just build another row of cactus right on top of the last one so now you see we got already two layers of uh, cactus farming right here you can also build like 10 layers on top of it you're very free in your design you can also build it like 100 blocks into this direction and or 100 blocks into this direction if you want to expand it to the front, then uh, you have to consider that you have to remove this row of hopper right here and this system again and build it around here or something um, if you want to expand it to the front. To the side, it's uh, you can uh, expand it unlimited. So, now you see our cactus is getting collected in the furnaces here and also in the hoppers. It, it's not ending up in this chest right now. Um, because we are we haven't burned it yet so now we take levels and put it on top of the furnaces and put some coal into our furnaces like this and this and now you will see the cactus will get burned and it will get instantly put into this chest here you see it won't stay here and now it's in this chest here so to collect the XP we get from every single burned cactus, you just have to press the activate the lever right here and you see the items won't drop into this chest, they will get stuck here and now you can take it out and you heard it, we get our XP. So it's uh, the uh, XP is also collecting in here if, if it's in this chest, so, so if we got like 60 uh, green dye in this chest, all of the XP is still in the furnace. If we uh, activate the le uh, the lever right here and take out the one green die we get the xp for every single uh, burned green green die that was uh, since you collected it the last time so if you don't want to expand it you can just uh, fill uh, at these walls here and now i will show you another thing on my hardcore world again so back on our hardcore world you see we have three layers of cactus already and we've built it all of the walls, only the one of the, in the front knot. Um, but this one isn't that important because we got much space here and very rarely some cactus get stuck here. But we don't want to expand it to the sides, to the left or right. We just want to expand it to the top because we have already a very big area with our cactus farm. And this is very uh, much XP we're getting from here. So let's go down and take a look right here. You see uh, we got around six layers of water. Um, and you see the cactus is dropping down all the time from every single side. One cactus, oh no, it's not stuck there. And yeah, very rarely it happens that a cactus is landing in here, but most of the time they... Oh, you know, you saw it. <laughs> Perfect timing. And yeah, I think this size to the front is very good. And now I'm free to expand it to the left and right and also to the uh, in the height. And I think the height is the best thing to... Um, continue building it if you got a big farm like this already let's go down here you see all of the hoppers are ending up in this chest and you see we got much cactus right here and our furnaces are burning um 
yeah, the green dice ending up here. You see, we already got plenty. I'm collecting the XP very often, so don't wonder if we don't get that much XP right now. But I will show it to you. I think around 20 characters has to be burned through. And you see, we've got just one level up for just collecting it. And yeah, it's very efficient. I've, I have to add another furnace that, or even two furnaces to, uh, keep uh, burning these, this amount of uh, cactus um, but yeah especially for your survival world this farm is very very helpful and uh, for, especially because if you don't need XP for the moment you can just collect the cactus and just burn them through if you need um, some XP or you can just leave the XP inside of the furnaces and just keep burning keep burning and if you are and if you are in a spot and you say, oh, I want to enchant something, you can just go there, press the lever, take the green die out, and you will get tons of XP out of it at once. But yeah, this is the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. It would help me a lot. And hopefully see you in the next video. Bye.